I don't oh. want him over on this side. I feel like he's going to make me do something. Do you, are you saying that the athletes are on this side? Uh, no. I've never been so honest in my life. So I, I'm, I'm looking forward to this. All right. Yeah. Well, the weather's getting warmer. It's almost beach season, so get those pythons ready. We're on your side helping you get in shape. And to do that, we brought back former Jacksonville Jaguar, Neil Sterling with ISI Elite Training. Neil, thanks for joining us. What kind of workout are we going to go through today? Yeah, so today I really want to stress the importance of moving throughout the day. So whether you are somebody who's at home on your computer a lot, whether you're somebody who's at work and you're sitting at your desk for however many hours, you know how when after you're doing that for a little while, you start getting the soreness in your lower back, your hips, sometimes in your feet. I know for me, my feet go numb a little bit. So what I wanted to do is give you guys four movements that you can do each hour throughout the day to really get your body moving, warm up again. Try to, it'll help with that soreness in your lower back. It'll help with that soreness in your hips. And, uh, I love it. Yeah. All right, let's dive in. What's, what's the first thing? What do we need to know? <laughs> yeah, so first thing, um, this is a great way. First, I want to tell you about there's something um, you can do every day mm -hmm. where you set a timer. Okay. So you set a timer for you know every hour, every two hours, if you're at work or if you're at home. Right when that timer hits, you get up and start moving. Love so it. this is one movement that you can do. Mm -hmm. Super easy, it's just a body weight squat. So you're just gonna have a dress on. get down low, as low as you can go, and come back up. Oh, so this goodness. is truly yeah. something you're just like at your desk, and ding, your phone timer goes off. Yeah. And it's yep. like, all right, it's time for yep. squats. And, and the good thing about some of these movements is it's not a lot of stress in your body. It's mm -hmm. called basically like a dynamic warm up. So it shouldn't be hard, it should be relatively easy, but it's just a way to get your body moving throughout the day. So if anybody's looking at you a little bit weird in the middle of the office, you can say, a former Jag told <laughs> yep, me. Exactly, is, you can blame me. You yeah, can blame this me. This is what NFL I should be doing. Yeah. 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 And also, you clearly, we don't need weights. You don't need No weights, extra. nope. You just gotta have a, a body that you can move. <laughs> Well, <laughs> easier said. <Yeah. laughs> easier said. Okay. Right. Uh, I felt that definitely in, mm -hmm. in my yeah. quads right there. Yeah. Okay. What's the next one? Okay. Next one. This might be a little tough because you're in a dress. Okay. But I'll watch. The next one we call is uh, inchworm to push up. So you're basically going down. You're walking your hands out. You're doing a push up. And you're walking them back in. And you stand up. Gonna Are you going to be able to do this? I feel my. Uh, I got faith in you guys. Oh, wow. I got faith. Push yeah. Up. All right. And then inchworm back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So you can do multiple of these? Yeah. So <laughs> basically, depending on like your fitness level, you could range it from, you know, four to 10. Like in the day or? <laughs> biggest mistake. In the hour. Oh, my yeah. goodness. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think the biggest mistake people tend to make when they start the workout process? Um, doing too much too early. Yeah. Um, I think people want results like now, now, now but don't realize that it's a process. You know, you gotta start somewhere. You know, you gotta start at your base. You gotta work on your strength at lower weights, even though, you know, it might be a little embarrassing that you're doing smaller weights and other people are doing heavier weights, but everybody has that baseline. And um, it's, you know, it's about progress. It's not about perfection. Okay. All right, well, clearly we're not focused on the perfection part right now, <laughs> but let's progress on to number three. What else okay. do we have? So number three, it's real simple. It's called a good morning. So what you're doing, you're gonna put your hands on the top of your head. Mm -hmm. You're gonna to wanna to push your butt back as far as it goes, keep your back flat. You should feel a stretch in your hamstrings. Oh yeah. And you squeeze your glutes and come up. Oh, I like this one. Yeah. This is pretty good. I, think I, got I like it. this one too. I usually get tight hamstrings. Oh. So it's good for that. And feel you can that. do this anywhere. You can oh, do it anywhere. Yeah, the, yeah. I mean, I'm gonna make all of our coworkers feel uncomfortable. Is that? <laughs> oh, yo, yeah. I'm just like, oh, here we go. Yeah. I mean, I, I catch myself doing stuff like this in public. You know, yeah. like just moving around. <laughs> little chairs. <laughs> people think I'm like weird oh, yeah. and stuff. Oh, let me get the candle. <laughs> yeah. uh, Especially if my hips are tight. I do want to say, tight. you do offer. Obviously, these are in-home techniques, but you do offer special training at ISI yes. as well. Your town center, please remind our viewers exactly where you are and how they could sign up for some of your events. Yes, so um, we will be located at the town center. Um, actually, a couple of houses down from the PGA Golf Tour store. Um, we are opening up, hopefully, in April, beginning of April. Um, but we're signing people up for free. Anyone who 